better. Commercial Drive, Yorkville, and Erie Boulevard in Rome. WIBX 950 and 106.9 FM. This is Keeler. Okay, in the studio right now, uh, she is a candidate. Let's get right to it. Uh, next week is a uh, big day. Yes, there, Tuesday. There's a lot of attention this year on school boards. Um, maybe it's because of the pandemic, everything we've been going through. Tilt that microphone so you're talking directly right into it. And uh, so give me your story. Why are you running for school board? You know, what's interesting. I was reflecting on that today. And to your point, there is a lot more attention on school board elections this year than previous years. Obviously, the pandemic brought a lot to light for a lot of people, mm -hmm. and I think the silver lining to that was that people realized we're not engaged, as engaged as we should be, right, and there's right. not a lot of transparency coming from school districts. And um, in, in each other, there's a lot going on in New Hartford, um, accusations against teachers and et cetera, et cetera. There's a new superintendent there. Um, how do you contribute to the board? Well, first and foremost, uh, I believe that transparency is going to be a huge impact. Um, and, you know, to that end, uh, really being engaged with the community, which is something I've been working very hard towards. Uh, I have a website that I've created. I keep a blog on there, talk about my thoughts. Uh, I've been very receptive. People have reached out to me via Facebook and other means. I'm always happy to take phone calls, and I've spent quite a bit of time over the past couple of weeks on the phone with constituents who have different concerns. I've also gone door to door uh, and talked with people, and I think that's something that I'll continue uh, doing neighborhood by neighborhood, even after elected, because I think it's important for taxpayers to be engaged, whether they have children in the district or not. There is a fiduciary duty that the district has to the taxpayers to educate the youth of our area mm -hmm. uh, to the best of their ability. So, um, you know, Board of, Edu Board of Education um, is a fantastic role. It's a very important role. Even if I'm not elected, I think I've done a great job with helping push forward that envelope of transparency um, and also just helping get others engaged that weren't otherwise engaged. Uh, talk about your background. My wife, by the way, is a SUNY uh, uh, Genesee graduate. Really? There's a lot of nights out there. Yeah. Who knew? Crazy. <laughs> um, and so your background. So, yeah, so I went to Geneseo. I started off as a Spanish major. I quickly realized that that wasn't something that I thought I wanted to do for the rest of my life, although uh, hablo espanol por todo el tiempo cuando puedo. Um, That's really good. Uh, <laughs> whenever someone yeah. lets me, I will speak Spanish with them or practice Spanish with them. Um, or I, uh, how do you say don't drink the water? I just came back from Mexico. <laughs> and, uh, I end up as a business major, and the reason is kind of... Uh, funny in retrospect, but that's the hubris of youth. Uh, it had the least requirements of classes to take mm -hmm. to get a degree so that I could take all the other things I was interested in. So I nice. took about eight different philosophy classes, um, which is part of why I think I might be a good uh, addition to the board, because I am a critical thinker. And that's also why I believe in a robust classical education. Um, I think so often we get bogged down in our schools with um, all sorts of more controversial topics that don't need to be included in the curriculum and come at the cost of core curriculum. Math, writing, reading. I've seen a huge uh, decrease in those abilities among my own children, which I've blended family of five, and among other kids in the community that yeah. I'm engaged with. Uh, pandemic, uh, where were you on that? Uh, obviously, it was very, some kids thrived during it, but for, for most kids, it was very difficult, socially very difficult. Um, uh, what are your general thoughts on what the last two years has been like? I think it's been absolutely horrible. You're right. There are a few kids, a small cadre, who benefited from that one-on-one -on -one, uh, screen time. For them, I'd love to see that option continued if possible in some way, shape, or form. For the majority of kids, though, that was so detrimental and put so many of them behind. I think we should have been back in school much quicker, and I think we should have been maskless much quicker based on all the data that was out there. Okay. Uh, your website is Heather Evans, the number four, nhboe.com. Yes. Is that right? Just to All save right. people a few keystrokes. Okay, good. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? I mean, the, the field's kind of crowded and... It is crowded. And, you know, again, there's a lot of uh, different things going on, as you mentioned. I'd like to see more transparency. I'd like to see a little bit less politics in our school. Um, for instance, there was just recently in one of the morning announcements at the high school that they were doing a drive for period supplies, menstruation, for, quote, people who menstruate. 
I think we need to be exacting in our language. I think that sends the wrong message to kids, and I think it's inexact from a scientific standpoint. Women who menstruate. Unless you want to start. <laughs> uh, I would wish that yeah. burden on Listen, my <laughs> wife just had a hysterectomy, so uh, I'm dealing with... Well, I'm dealing yeah. with nothing, but I'm learning a lot, I'll tell you that. But I will say just thank you to uh, letting me come on here because there is a need for people to be more engaged in the school. It is an important part of the... Election is coming up on Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. Okay, sir. awesome. Thank, thank you. you. I'm going to move right along, and thank you very much. And I'm taking uh, out. I'm sorry. Have a nice day. Thank you. Sorry to make it seem that way. It's really not what I'm doing. Although uh, Dr. Ken Hall from MVHS.